now everyone knows over the past sort of like few years my big pet project it hasn't been my own career it's been get Carl famous yeah I want people to recognize him in the street come up to him and say you bald-headed mank twat I well want... let me tell you now Rick I've been out and about and a lot of people have come up to me and said it has Carl Pilkington got a head like a fucking orange well I'm I've been... about to instantly confirm the answer to be yes but he's had a call he had a call recently from a film company asking him if he's got any ideas for movies now how desperate in what dire straits must the British film industry be that they're going, we need Carl Pilkerton? We have hit rock bottom. And he went along for an interview. So what, and you went in and you... I went, I went along and um, had a meeting. And uh, they just said, right, you know, got any ideas? And uh, sort of said, you know, what, what are you thinking? What sort of thing are you after? Are you after action? <laughs> Thriller? Whatever. Because you can provide any of it. I love that, that he's playing it cool, like yeah, you've yeah. come to the right person. Yeah, 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 My yeah. time's precious, what do you need? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Carl Pilkin, the movie doctor, what do you need, Papa? <laughs> so, thought of this idea sort of on the spot. Good. That always I am. Um, no, but sometimes that's how good ideas come up, don't yeah. they? Just, just so a lot of yours have come up, yeah. No, but when if you just Randomly. talk, I find that your mouth comes out with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there's another right, quote. Right. There is another quote. That, <laughs> if you talk, that, your mouth comes out with that, that. That that to me is stands along with what were those things in Gremlins called? No, but what uh, I mean, if you sit there and try and use your brain to do it, right, it doesn't work the same. Just just keep talking. Just keep your, keep your mouth talking, and eventually it will come out with something pretty good. That is exactly what Plato said. Well, uh, so anyway. Aristotle, he said, "Sit down. I've got an idea for you." Uh, Aristotle said, "Plato, what you go right." Just keep talking and eventually your brain will come out with stuff. So what I thought, I just started off by saying like actors' names and that who I thought should be in it, because then that's giving more, it's building. Right, okay, so who's, who's, who's saying? Who's you say? So I said, right, I'm seeing uh, Clive Warren. Who the fuck's Clive Warren? Who's Clive Warren? The one who was in Closer. Clive Owen. Clive Owen. Right, all right. Did they look at you like you're a fucking five. idiot? <laughs> so they all started trying to figure out, who's this Clive Warren we've not heard about? We, uh, he, he must be amazing. Yeah, he's got like, Clive Warren. Get me Clive <laughs> Warren on the phone. <laughs> Get Clive me Clive Warren. Warren. And I said, uh, Rebecca De Mornay, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, where did that come from? She hasn't been in a film uh, for 15 years, has she? Clive Warren and Rebecca De Mornay. <laughs> they thought he was a genius. They have never thought of putting Clive Warren with Rebecca De Mornay. <laughs> but hang on a minute, you could have, you could have <laughs> any <laughs> film star. This is your fantasy <laughs> casting, yeah. and yeah. you choose a bloke that doesn't exist, and a woman who hasn't been on TV or in a film for 10 years. Oh God. Why didn't oh, you choose, you know, uh, someone who existed Gino or someone who's a oh, big star? Oh God, Clive <laughs> Warren! Oh God! Oh, so God. anyway, starts off, and the people, you know, you're seeing into their lives from yeah. like the morning. Yeah. So it's like a nice sunny day. Yeah. Radio's on. You know, they're going about the day. They're having the breakfast. They're saying, "Oh, what are we doing tonight?" And you're thinking, "Oh, they've got a nice life." Mm. She, she's like, "Love you and all that." Yeah. He walks out the house, gets hit by a bus. <laughs> Oh, so Clive Warren's they're dead. I don't know if Clive Warren would take that part because he, he ain't got much to do. Has no, he? I don't. If I if I if I know Clive Warren, and I think you do. I think I do. Carry on. So he, he's hit by a bus. So he's so dead. So he's hit by a bus and that. The titles come up. Oh, it's got yes. you, right? She's Starring devastated. She's, Clive she's fed up. She's devastated and that. Um, doctor says Clive's dead. Who's playing the doctor? Jack Nicholson house. Um, sort of, uh, what's that fella who was in Independence Day? Um, Will Smith. No, the, the, the old, the old black fella. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Yeah. Get him in. He's Morgan Freeman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says, your husband's dead. She's like, oh, God. What happens then is, he says, but listen, what we can do now, we can take the brain out. Right. Right. And, and, and a fact that I read that day before the meeting, this isn't in the film now, this is me. Right, but right. lucky, yeah, okay. luckily. I read a thing about how the brain can, it can run on half of it. You've actually got a full brain Some running of on half. Are. So this is, this was in my mind still. Well, half your mind, yeah. So I said, what happens is Morgan Freeman says, been working on this. You can run, you can run your life on half a brain. Right. She's sort of a bit like, what are you tell me this for now? My husband's just died like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, but if we're going to do this, we've got to act quick. She's like, do what? He says, whilst his brain's not fully dead, 
because it, it stays awake for a bit when you oh, think Oh, he's not dead then, fine. No, no, but yeah, he is, but they found out that right. it stays awake a little bit. No, 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 no. So, no, he's gone. No, no, no. He's hit by a bus. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. dead. If the brain's dead, you are dead. Clive Warren's dead. And if, if, uh, if the brain's not dead, you're not dead. No, but it's like people in a coma. They're dead, aren't they? But no, the no, 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 they're in a coma. No, they're in a coma. No, they come out of comas, don't All right, then he's in a coma. He's been hit by the bus, but the chances are he's not going to come out of that coma, but his brain is still awake. So, change that. That's easily done. Uh, hold on, though. I, I like this fact that he's in a coma, so they're going, look, he's definitely going to die in this coma. Take the brain out now. Pop the brain out. But why is that such a weird thing when that's what they do now? That's what they do now. What is? That's what they do. What? They do that. What? What? what, 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 what a brain transplant. No, but when, like, how, how I've signed that donor card, like, yeah. if anything happens to me... No, 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 no. there's the no lot. such thing as a brain donor. Oh, we've explained to you before. Yeah, but they're working on it. They've said something about Einstein. They, they, they messed about with his brain for ages, trying to work out if it was full of stuff. That's what they're doing. They're working on that. There's loads of things that doctors are doing that we don't know about. I've seen some weird stuff on the internet. Yeah, I know you have. Yeah. I saw a program on Channel 5 where a monkey brain was still alive and it was stuck on a stick. <laughs> And they, they you were watching it. the magic roundabout. They poked it and it reacted. <laughs> right. So it's still alive. It's being kept alive. And it's only a matter of time. What's what's the brain linked up to? The as long as you can link it up to the eyes and somehow so it can tell the arms and legs what to do, you're laughing. I love that. As, imagine a, a team full of doctors going, well, we're going to try and do a brain to Carl. Um, as long as you can link this up to the eyes and tell the arms and legs what to do, we're laughing. <laughs> Cheers, Carl. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> then what happens is they say do you want half of his brain in your head half she's his brain she in said her head. she says definitely not i'm having you struck off she starts screaming she calls the police he gets arrested yeah, but you'd have said that years ago when people can have like someone else's arm put on their body and stuff <laughs> yeah but he's only in a coma yeah no but he's not going to come out of that co coma right. so so it's like this or nothing it's right. like look you know what what we're going to do here we can either turn the switch off yeah. or we can put his head in your head but why would but, you so, why, so what he does so what they do then they're going to take half his brain half of his brain take it out half of hers pop it in place why would she do that because she loves him but hold on well no, no wait 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 what would she then be because this is what i'm trying to tell okay, you okay okay sorry what happens is he, he explains all this so i mean this would probably cover about 20 minutes in the film but i'm just rushing it, I, I just rushing it off, off but yeah no you wasn't this this bit would have you mm. so what well what, i'd have actually left when i i wouldn't have even gone in to see a film starring uh, clive warren and rebecca de mornay <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless it was 1985. <laughs> so, so the thing is She's the same as you. She says the same thing. She goes, why would I do that, Doctor? Mm. And uh, he goes, well, what will happen is he's gone, but you'll you'll have his thoughts. So in the morning when you say, oh, I don't know what to have, well, they have cornflakes. His bit of the brain will sort of say... Have a wheat a bit. Have shredded wheat or yeah. whatever. And she's like, oh, yeah, good idea. Sorry, sorry. So the point of this film is that the dead man can remind her what <laughs> breakfast cereal she likes. Yeah. So the thought... What do you mean, yes? So that's it, is it? No, 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 that's not the only wait, thing. Wait, oh, wait a minute, this is only Act 1. That's, that's just the first bit. Everything's going well. She so, has it done. So what is... What, who is she? Is she herself? She's Rebecca Nimone. Yeah. But, but now with and again, with, with, with him chipping in with a bit of voiceover. So the idea is it's all going well at the beginning. And she's... So she can't decide what so, to so wear. She's got, he, he so she's had is. half of her brain taken out and put in a bin, yeah. OK? And and Clive Warren's uh, half has been put in there. So now she's walking round... Okay. So yeah. she's like a schizophrenic. No, like I say, the brain is alive, so it's all going well when she leaves hospital. Yeah. And she gets a first taste of it, and it's a bit weird to get hold of, because she's, she's sort of, uh, I think when she signs herself out, he's sort of fighting, right, in his name and stuff. So there's a few sort of technical things that, yeah. that she has to get used to. And does Clive's brain what know does he that think? he's now inside her brain? Um. Does that matter? Well, I would say it matters, because... Yes. Otherwise, yes, he, it does matter, Carl. What's what's he, what's he thinking? Can, I mean, what's what the I mean, point of this? Why has she gone along with this? Because she really loves him. But what? But what's in it for him? What does she think? Well, say if I died, yeah. And Suzanne said, "Go on, I'll have half of Carl's." Right? She would wake up in the morning to a thought of me, sort of going, "Oh, you never guess what I've just thought about, or whatever." I'd still be there. The rest of your body is sort of waste, isn't it? But like the rest it. of your body's sort of waste. No, it is, kind of. If When, when someone dies, it's yeah. not that person anymore, is it? You can't have a chat with them. So if you could have someone's brain in your head when they're dead, you'd have it, wouldn't you? What are you talking about? 
Why would I have someone's brain in my head when they're dead? Well, what I've else? got a perfectly good brain. So you're telling me you wouldn't have it done then? <laughs> uh, 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 of course I fucking wouldn't. I, I could would also I... categorically state I wouldn't either. Yeah, but you're saying that now, but once you're in that position that someone who, you know, you're loving that dies, if the doctor said, do you want it? No! And, and I go, no! It's madness! I don't think you it's look, wait, madness!